So you may be one of those thousands of people that are gonna get their colonoscopy this year. Oh yeah, we got you, we got you. And you may be wondering, huh, how bad is a colonoscopy? Well, in this video today, we will talk about how bad actually is a colonoscopy, how painful it may or may not be, are you asleep during a colonoscopy? How long does it take? What is the prep like? I know you're wondering about that. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna give you five truths you need to know about a colonoscopy so you can be prepared and you know exactly what to expect. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Samir here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button like share and subscribe and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to a weekly newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in this video all right colonoscopies yes your favorite topic your favorite thing to do i didn't want patients come to see me about their colonoscopy they're all so happy they can't wait to get it ah I know, I am sure you've heard the horror stories, I've heard them as well. Let's get down to the truth, guys. So how painful is a colonoscopy? It is so painful. It is terrible. It'll be the worst pain in your life. No, of course not. It is such an easy procedure. So colonoscopy is a procedure in which we actually use a very small camera while you're asleep. Take a look inside your colon to find precancerous polyps. Polyps are growths in the colon that over time will get bigger and bigger and bigger and there's a point in time where eventually they will progress into cancer. And the issue when it comes to colon polyps is that they don't become symptomatic. You don't feel anything until they're very, very big or until it's too late. So our goal is to find them, remove them, so you don't have to ever worry about them ever again. And the best way to do that is to do a colonoscopy. Now, it is not a painful procedure. You don't feel anything that's going on. Even when we remove a very large polyp, you can't feel that because your colon has no nerves. And in most cases, we'll insert air or water to inflate the colon. But by the time you wake up, you'll be farting away. You won't feel any bloating or any long-term side effects from that. And during the colonoscopy, you are asleep the whole time. Now, there are different ways to push you to sleep. For some people, it's a little bit of a twilight medication. And for others, it's a very rapid falling asleep and waking up very, very quickly. But the medications that we use are effective and safe in the right hands. And they work very, very well to not only make you comfortable, but to make you fall asleep. Now, in most cases, the colonoscopy may take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long your colon is, what we find, and how clean you are as well. And this is where the important part about the prep comes in. All right, prep, the big bugaboo when it comes to the colonoscopy. Let's get into that. The prep is the most important thing that you can do to make it easier for us to find out what is going on. When we have a pretty colon that's all cleaned out, it is such a great feeling because I know that number one, I will be able to find any types of polyps. Number two, there's not gonna be any chance of me having a significant amount of complications. And number three, I can feel confident that your colonoscopy is a very thorough exam. If we see stool in the colon, if it's not totally cleaned out, if it's still a lot of poo that's there, it causes a lot of problems. We can't see what's going on. And if we can't see what's going on, we cannot fix or remove any polyps. Number two is that if we can't see what's going on, that means you're going to need a colonoscopy more quicker, more sooner than if you had a clean prep. And number three, most important, we can miss cancer. Absolutely 100%. And one of the more common reasons for someone to get cancer after colonoscopy is that we could not see what's going on. And the most common reason we can't see what's going on is a bad prep. We just have stool that's there and there's only so much washing you can do before you really can't see and everything gets very, very murky. And yeah, I'm sure you've heard the horror stories from your friends about the colon prep. We have newer preps that are out. There are less volume, less amount, and also they may taste not that bad. And so we've made some adjustments in terms of making the prep easier and more tolerable as well. And in fact, for some people, we actually split up the prep between two different days so you don't have to drink as much volume. Now I know that no matter what I say, I'm not gonna make the prep easier for you. I, I know this for a fact, but it is an essential part of the colonoscopy and it's gonna be probably the more difficult part for you, but your reward is a great nap during the colonoscopy and even better, something great to eat afterwards. 
I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're getting value from this, I would appreciate it if you smash that like button and comment it down below. Now, I want to talk to you about five truths that you need to know about a colonoscopy to make sure you're informed about what is going on. Truth number one, you can handle the prep. Yes, you can handle the prep. Absolutely, you can. Ask for a low volume prep if you have a lot of nausea and vomiting. Maybe take some anti-nausea medications before you start your prep. Add some Gatorade or lemon water, crystal light. It'll jazz up the flavor a little bit. There are ways to make the prep easier and don't make the prep the reason why you may get cancer. Truth number two, you don't have to stay in the hospital. Yes, this is a very common question that I get. It's an outpatient procedure. You go home the exact same day. Yes, as soon as we're done, you get to go home and get something to eat. You don't have to be in the hospital. You don't have to be admitted. You don't have to do anything else except for allow us to do our job. Number three, you don't have to take off a lot of time from work. So in most cases, in fact, all cases, you need to take off the day of the procedure. But in some cases, that may be the only day you have to take off. Some people start the prep the night before, whenever they get home from work. Some people take the day off the day before the procedure and the day of, so two days max. But the following day, you can go back to normal activities. So don't feel like you don't have time to do this, when in essence, you can really just take one day off from work. Number four, you can afford the procedure. A screening colonoscopy, which is a colonoscopy that we do for anybody over the age of 45 to look for precancerous polyps, is a screening test, meaning it's preventative, meaning your insurance will cover it. Yes, it will. And that's a fantastic news. We have found the rates of colon cancer to be decreased ever since we implemented universal screening for anyone over the age of 45 or 50 years old. And don't let cost be a reason to not get this test done because you don't have to pay for it. Yes, that's fantastic news. And the fifth truth is that the sedation works and it's very safe. We have a lot of good clinical data that under trained doctors, the sedation can be done safely, effectively, and make you very, very comfortable. Don't make that a reason to be scared. I am telling you, you will not have a lot of side effects. You'll go to sleep quickly and wake up quickly in most cases. And the biggest question people always ask me whenever they wake up is, have we started? I'm like, no, we're done. Everything came out great and I want you to get something good to eat. So these are what you need to know about a colonoscopy to be better informed. My question today for you, what questions do you have about a colonoscopy? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to a weekly newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in this video. Guys, I want to thank you for watching and hope you guys have a happy and healthy day. Guys, don't forget, let's talk about poop.